I'm Nathan Olivares Giles, a technology reporter with the Los Angeles Times, and this week we're taking a look at some HTML5 apps. The reason being is Amazon just released its Kindle Cloud Reader app, which is really a response to Apple's App Store policies that say you can't sell content from within an app unless Apple gets a cut. Amazon, of course, the world's leading online retailer, doesn't want to give over any money to Apple, which is quickly becoming one of its rivals. Apple was really the company that got mobile apps kicked off with this guy, the iPhone 1. Now back when this came out in 2007, HTML5 was not implemented in browsers. It wasn't something that was commonplace or really even something consumers knew about or were looking for. So why is HTML5 cool? Why is it something that you should care about? Well, the reason here is consistency in user experience. And what does that mean? That means that the same web app that you use on an iPad will be the same web app that you use on your web browser or that you use on a different smartphone or tablet computer. And that's not really something that native apps have ever really been able to promise consumers. There are slightly different specifications and standards for each of those mobile operating systems and thus you get a slightly different app. So the Kindle Cloud Reader HTML5 app and the Kindle native iOS app work exactly the same and really do give you a very similar experience. The big difference here is that the Kindle Cloud Reader app allows you to buy books from within the app. If you want to buy a book and you're just using the native app, you have to exit out of the app, go to Safari, open up Amazon, buy the book, download it, come back to your native Kindle app. It's a real pain in the butt, but here you can actually do all that stuff in one place. That's the advantage, and it's an advantage for Amazon because they don't have to give Apple any of the money that they make from the book sales. So another cool HTML5 app that works pretty much the same on your desktop or your laptop browser as it does on this tablet computer here is DeviantArt's Muro app. It's muro.deviantart.com and it allows you with your finger or with your mouse to draw really cool stuff. You can have multiple layers, you can add on different colors and paintbrushes. It's really, really slick, it's free, and it's built in HTML5. Now of course, because HTML5 doesn't have all of its standards set and not all browsers implement this technology the same way, not everything is going to work the same way across all these different devices. Two good examples are really cool HTML5 apps that work great on a desktop or laptop but not so hot on tablets like the iPad. One is Vintage.js. It's basically an Instagram for photos that you've taken and it allows you to change and edit photos and put really cool old school filters on them. Another good example is Google Body, a really neat HTML5 app where you can take apart and build a body. It works great on your home computer, it doesn't work so hot on the iPad. So with HTML5 apps, companies don't have to pay part of their revenue to an app store owner, they can control the user experience, things can be more consistent. Now HTML5 doesn't allow companies to offer everything that they can offer in a native app, but that's where things are headed. This is where I think the future is at. Where do you stand?